Welcome back to Riding with Fire, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Jeremy. How's it going, everybody? Tonight, today, wherever it may be while you are watching this, I am wood burning a German Shepherd. I have some uh, painting, or yeah, I have some wood burns to show you guys. So I'm just going to start wood burning and talking with you guys and seeing how you guys are doing. Hope it's all a wonderful day where you guys are at. It's been pretty darn good where I'm at. Started out with a pretty crappy week and then has turned into a decent week. I hope to close out the week with an awesome weekend and hang out with a lot of awesome people. So, something to kind of surprise and throw out there for you guys. I have been wood burning live on Twitch. Yes, I have done it two or three times now. Two times now, to be exact. Um, I'm going to wood burn every Wednesday on Twitch. I may switch it up here and there, but for the most part, Wednesdays on Twitch, I will be wood burning. I think that's... It's a good way for me to kind of get out of my, uh, you know, being quiet while wood burning. This, that gives me an opportunity to open up, like I'm sure you guys can see right now, I am having no problems talking while I'm wood burning. I'm actually been getting, getting the hang of it, you know, it's like riding a bicycle, it's like once you, once you figure it out. You'll get it, no problem. And I, I think I've been doing pretty good at it. So I'm going to turn this bad boy up. It's a little bit hotter. So I can get get the cruise in here. So yeah, if you guys don't follow me on Twitch, I'll put the link in the description. Plus, on Twitch, I just hit affiliate. So I am super happy. I have put the work in. And now I am affiliate. Finally got it all figured out today. Um, I'm still kind of still learning Twitch. It's still kind of a whole new platform for me. But I'm having fun over there. So that's all that matters. Ba, ba, ba. So yeah. I'm having a blast doing all these different wood burns. I'm still on the hunt for wood. I've been trying to find wood similar to this. Because this is the kind of wood I like. And But finding it in pieces that's like 11 inches wide by like 17 inches long. It's kind of hard. Um, I could find it in, like, a little bit different size, but it's hard with the image when you blow it up from this big to this big. The whole image gets larger, so I have to find wood that gets larger with the whole image. Like, I could put the whole image on there. That's the problem I'm having right now. So if I blow up the image, it, it'll blow up to 11 by 17. So... It has to be 11 wide and 17 tall. So, that's what size I'm looking for right now. I did find some. It's like a 12 by 20. And I'm like, good God, that's, that's big. Now, I don't know if I'd want to burn what I'm wanting to burn that big. Because I would have to find paper to... Uh, trace that thing onto and you know then wood burn it so that might be a little too big but that give me a spot so I can start looking for uh, the place is called woodpecker it's a weird name but 
it supposedly they're a, a wood burning wood place. I was like, okay, let's see what you guys got. But trying to find stuff in the inventory is hella weird because it's like marked for everything else besides wood burning. Like they have a ton of wood. But yeah, so I'm still on the hunt for wood. Hopefully, I will by this weekend I will have tracked down the wood that I need and plus I need to place another order of wood for this because I've already used like four pieces out of the eight that I got so I need to place another order for um probably get a double pack but I think I'm gonna go with the Arteza wood because the Arteza wood is just like this and I can get it in this size and round pieces and there's there's quite a few of them for like 20 bucks so I think I'm gonna try that wood and see how I like it um, there is another pack of wood in there that might do the job I'm gonna buy it and see thanks to Mrs. Coffee for recommending me to look into Arteza for wood because I didn't even think Arteza had wood, but they have a huge selection of wood. They even have wood burning machines or a, a machine so Hella cool To have a place I can go like Arteza and buy wood from because if it if it turns out to be Good wood that, that I need that I use I, I'm gonna be it's that's gonna be nice having a, a place because right now where I get my wood at right now, it takes like a week or two to get wood, and it's like if I if I run out, then I go back to my my little like four by four or five by five pieces. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way, but it's impossible. There we go. It's not so bad. Um, so trying to go back to my smaller pieces of wood and still wood burn and do smaller projects which I and still enjoy doing my smaller projects because I can send I can do smaller projects and send to Patreons like if you guys like whatever stencils I have for the small projects but I think I'm going to try something new for my Patreon. But my Patreon is for my other channel, so. I don't even know why I was talking about it. I have ideas flowing through my head right now. And it's crazy because I'm talking and wood burning with you guys. It's, it's never a talking and a wood burning type of person. But going live on Twitch, it has sure helped. Okay, this tip, like, it's dirty. So, um, let's see, what kind of updates can I give you guys? Uh, so, the start of the week, my dog got hurt Monday night. Um, he's, he's doing a lot better now. Um. He's up running around like his normal self. This morning he got up. He had his old talk back attitude to me and wouldn't shut the hell up while I was trying to brush my hair and brush my teeth and take care of myself and get ready for work. He would just like annoy the living crap out of me. He sat there and growled and growled at me and I'm just like, you can talk whatever bullshit you want to talk, son. I don't care. I got to get ready for work. He wanted to play something fierce because I pretty much laid, made him lay around and do nothing that night. I was like, nope. Every time he tried to get up and do something, I'm like, nope. You cried for help. You got to relax. Still don't know what he hurt. But I think he hit, hurt his paw because he's been favoring his paw a lot. So I don't know if he got like a sticker in his paw or 
what, but I, I searched his paws over and over and over again. And they're, they're, like, super red and s swollen, so... Who knows? Trapper's getting ready to upgrade to some new, uh, new stuff that my dad and our vet recommended us. Um... Why does shit for your dog cost more than it does for yourself? Like, uh, a bottle of this stuff that you put, like, one scoop on the dog's dog food a day. Um, and the bottle's good enough to last, like, a month. Why is that shit $70? I'm like, do I really want to spend $70 a month on my home skillet? But, he's my homie. I don't know if I could not spend that much money on him. Like, he's my home skillet. Alright, I'm trying to see where to go next. Trying to see where to go next. Fill this in. So, yeah. It's uh, called uh, Nutra Thrive. And it's expensive as shit, but it's, like, my vet, everybody says it's, like, the top-of-the-line shit. It's the best, best stuff you can give your dog. Or any animal for that much. They have it for dog, cat, like, they have it for all the animals. Uh, I think a hot. Couple of little small little spots. I gotta be careful. Oh yeah, looking good. So, what are you guys working on while you're watching me work on this? Um. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Go over here, start filling some of this top area. So, I am so ready for this weekend. I think me and Trapper are going to go... No, I can't Saturday. Saturday, I have a wood-burning class. I am teaching um, on a Zoom meeting. And... Uh, We're teaching a 101 class for wood burning with a friend, a few friends, and yeah, it's a uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. I gotta teach some some beginner stuff, some people stuff that have never wood burned before, but want to wood burn. I'm looking forward to that. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, I'm ready for the weekend. That's for sure. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Work. Um, I've, have I ever told you guys, I work for a print shop, and work has been kind of weird lately. Some days we're really busy, some days we're super, 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 super slow. Slow. Today, I wanted to strangle my boss, like any other day that we work together, but today, I kept telling him I was trying to print these envelopes and these envelopes, these envelopes suck to tell you the truth, they suck 
They're fold and seal envelopes, and they are a pain in the freaking took us to print. So, because of the way the flap folds over, there's an extra flap, and then an extra flap, and then there's like, there's like three flaps in a row, and printing-wise, that sucks, because it's going to be an uneven print, because there's three different flaps that cross over, so there's like three different thicknesses of paper as it's printing, which sucks. Hold on, I'm going to concentrate here for a second. I'm widening up this eater a little, little bit, like so. There we go. So, yeah, um, it sucks because... <laughs> the heck was I talking about? Dang it, I always do this. I always stop talking. Why do I stop talking? Just continue to talk. I have no clue what the heck I was just talking about, you guys. I'm sorry. It'll probably come back. Oh, work. So I was printing envelopes, and, uh... The print on the envelope was uneven, and my boss is like, Why is it uneven? I'm like, because there's three different layers of paper on the envelope. There's one layer that goes like this. So, a half an inch worth of the name gets hit on this top flap. And then there's a flap here. And then there's another flap here. So, there's three layers that the paper is thickness, you know, three layer thick. So, some areas, it's only one layer thick. Some areas, it's two layer thick. So, when you're printing, when it's like that, it'll look fatter in areas and shallower in areas. And my boss is like, it's, oh no, it's the plate. It's the plate's jacked up. It's, it's just a plate. I'm like, no, it's not the plate. I'm like, no, it's not the plate. It is not the plate. It is not the plate. Do not touch the damn plate. Please don't touch the plate. Let me touch the plate because I know you're going to F it up, okay? So, for, what does he do? He grabs, grabs a, a, a cotton pad and goes, what's on this? I said, um, develop, plate developer. And he's like, oh, perfect. And he starts scrabbing on the plate. And then wipes it off with the water. And then starts printing. And then the whole, like, ha half the image is gone. He's like, uh, I guess I was, I'm like, dude, I told you don't touch the damn plate. Ugh. He's like, well, we better make a new plate. I'm like, no, I'm not making a damn new plate. You screwed it up. Well, it was like this. I go, dude, you, you just gotta listen to me. Okay. You just gotta listen to me and take me for granted and, and, you know, you know, act like I know what that is. Frick, I'm doing, okay? Which, I know what the frick I'm doing. He just thinks he, he's always right. He can never do any wrong. And I tell you, he's, he's a smart mother trucker when it comes to working on, on presses and stuff. He's, he blows my mind every time we have a problem with the press. He'll, he can come back there and have it fixed in a, in a minute. So, he knows his shit. It's just to, today, he was wrong. And I made him admit it. <laughs> I was like, you're admitted it. You were wrong. He's like, uh, uh, I was wrong. And turned around and walked away. And let me just, just do my job. And I was like, thank you. Adios. Customer came in. I got done printing the job. Cleaned up the press. And he's like, I guess that, uh, Went pretty good. And I go, yeah, it went perfectly fine. Thanks. Just leave me to do my job the way you're supposed to. Things would get done perfectly fine. 
Oh, I am got just a little, well, I guess I got a little bit more than, as I say, I only got a little bit more to go, but I have quite a bit more to go than I thought I did. So, uh, let's see what else is going down in the neighborhood. Not much, to tell you the truth. I gotta go find salad for Thor. Once again, always on the lookout for salad for Thor. My buddy never seems to have enough salad. Um, make this a little bit fatter through here. Like so. And this needs to go about like so. And this needs to come about like so. Uh huh. Uh huh. Looking good. Yeah, buddy. I like it. I like it. I must say, I like it a lot. I'm loving this different style of wood burning that I've been doing compared to what I've been doing. It's so much, so much nicer and relaxing to have. A craft that you actually like to do. I mean, I love, I love doing the shading process of wood burning as well. I learning the shading process because I'm still learning. But I just, it's so nice to just be able to sit down and, and wood burn something like this in an hour or two and feel very accomplished. Oh yeah, looking good. And let's see. Gotta widen this up a little bit. Gotta give them that little bit of a thicker eye like so. Ow, that's bad boys getting hot. Yeah, looking good. Uh, okay, we're on a home stretch, y'all. Home stretch. So, I just want to thank everybody so much for coming back to the channel again and watching. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, do all the deeds, and I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Make sure I'm doing this the correct way. I got a big stretch to burn through here real quick. Let me turn the heat up. Turn up the volume. Whoa, sorry, 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 sorry. So, let's see. Uh, I don't even know what else to talk about right now. Just trying to get this finished. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Friday. I know I am 100% looking forward to Friday. It's going to be so nice to have a nice weekend off. Sunday, I think I'm going to jump in the car with my trap do and go drive around um, and look some different places. And take the camera out and do some um, 
photography in a couple of different places that I want to go take some pictures of. One more spot. It's looking for really good. One more spot to go. Yeah. That looks freaking awesome. Okay, turn that bad boy off. Set it up there. Don't burn myself. Look at that. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, as you guys see, I just finished this German Shepherd. So, there's that one. There's this one that I burned a couple of week or two ago. So, these two are going to my very good friend. And... This one I burnt last night on my Twitch stream. Looks just like Trapper. Isn't that cute? Ah, yes, okay. cute, 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 cute. So, there's some of my pieces. I'm absolutely loving these style portraits like this. So, thank you so much. For coming back and watching once again. If you're not new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you know when I post again. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Peace out. Later, Gator.